but then I made a you know a bait video about uh, <laughs> toxic toxic pussy. <laughs> Hello everybody, it's me Cockroach. Now I've made a lot of videos about League of Legends in the past year. I pretty much started in March, if I remember correctly. I started playing the game because of a friend. But I stuck to play the game because it's really, really fun. Now, the title of this video is a bronze player plays 1000 games in one year. And to be honest, that's true. I'm a bronze player who has played around a thousand games. And the reason why I'm bronze is because it's really fun to play the game. Now, there are a lot of tutorials around there on YouTube on how to get better leave bronze and go into silver, then into gold, then into platinum. But I don't know man, that kind of seems boring, uh, fundamentally boring. I like to play champions that are very memeable, uh, hard champions that people shouldn't play as beginners. Like Fiddlesticks, like Shaco, like Brand, like Poppy support ex exclusively. <laughs> But the reason why I play these champions is because it's hard. I on purpose don't know how to play them and I play them badly. And it's fun because, I mean, if you know everything about the game, why play it at that point? Why not just coach people on how to play it? It's really boring, you know, to improve on a game. It's really fun to go like it's a new experience. Wait a second, my clone can actually recall animation now? That's fun, you know? <laughs> And the magic of basically going through the game uh, and still being bronze all the time, bronze. I believe I was silver for a bit, I was iron for a bit too, but bronze is like the magical place where you find yourself with new people who just started playing the game and you find yourself with people just like you who are just hard stuck bronze and it's really fun you know to play with these people sometimes you play a character like you're a hard stuck mentally unhinged person and sometimes you play like hey everything is gonna be all right and you reassure your team that <laughs> you're gonna win even though <laughs> Uh, because one of them is AFK, one of them is basically trolling the game and you're there like doing your best because that's the fun of it, you know when, whenever the game is 100% lost, you try your best and when 100% it's won you just wonder what, what will happen if you try to solo Baron you know, like a 13 level fiddlestick support like what would happen? <laughs> What will happen if you're a poppy support with a uh, 5 kills lead on the other support and basically you're winning? What if you E into a turret with an enemy and you basically die, use your advantage, but you kill the enemy so it's fun, you know, it's a fun game. <laughs> you know, I'm not really making my case that I'm playing 100% to win, but are we all playing to win, really? Or are we here to just have a little bit of fun, you know, to have a <laughs> fun game, you know? I mean, it's a game after all, you know, it's supposed to be fun. <laughs> Jesus Christ, I sound like the biggest fucking troll, but in reality, when I actually tried to go to silver, I actually did it, you know, I played fiddlestick support and I tried to give gave my 100%, you know, and then I really made it to silver, you know, uh, I didn't throw any of the games, even the ones that it was just brutal, I, I had AFK people, I had a Gragas ADC one of the games, you know, it was disgusting, and still I had 83% win rate, or 82 win percent rate, doesn't matter, I lost like 3 games, and I tried my best, my best, my best, every game, everything I've learned so far, you know, and I applied it to Fiddlestick support, I bought the best items, I run the best rooms, you know, I gave it my all, and I went to silver, and then I got bored, <laughs> and then I started playing Brand again, and I got to bronze, and then I started playing Shaco again, and now I'm bronze 4. <laughs> Because I mean, winning is cool, giving it your all is cool, but 
Sometimes you just want to log into a game and just have a little bit of fun and not troll. I'm not trolling in any of the games. I'm not actually intentionally losing. I'm just not intentionally winning. I'm winning the lane. I don't give a shit if my jungler actually goes and takes the dragons. I don't give a shit if my top laner is just inting his head out. I don't care if my ADC just asks, why did you kill still? Oh my god, it's the end of the world. I mean... <sighs> I just like playing the game and it's fun. <laughs> okay, I have to address two videos that I've made to, on the game. I had a video, I won 10 times in a row and that was 100% true, I won 10 games in a row. I don't remember if it was with Fiddlesticks or Brown. I believe it was Brown if I'm not mistaken after his update. And I was dominated with Brown, even games where it was like funnily just playing for fun. I just won 10 games in a row with him. Uh, now, in between the games I was playing other champions and losing games, but as Brown I got 10 wins in a row. I even have the image and everything. And then uh, I had like 10 losses in a row with uh, Shaco when I first got him. That's 100% sincerely uh, how I felt. Uh, uh, when I first picked up Shaco, I wasn't playing ranked games by the way, I was playing just random lobbies, you know, I don't know even what, what do you call it, the casuals? Ah, uh, blind games, I believe it was called blind games, if I'm not mistaken. Anyways, I was playing the default normal matches and I was losing with Shaco like I had. 12 losses in a row and I was actually trying to play him. I didn't know if I should go magic or I should go assassin and it was a horrible miserable experience. I'm gonna be entirely honest but slowly but surely I learned that you can just play Shaco really really well as an AP Shaco. You just put your boxes, uh, enemies uh, go into the boxes and you win. It's a it's really a fun champion if the enemy goes and he wants to kill you, just queue away, it's it's magical. This is why Shaco is just one of my three favorites. Now Fiddlesticks is my favorite because I, when I press the R button people die. <laughs> and that's fun and I like playing Brand because he's the skill champion, you know, he's the hardest champion of my three mains that I play and he's extremely hard sometimes. Now I know a lot of people say, oh, Fiddlesticks is hard, oh, Shaco is hard, and I, I, I've, I've, not, I've not watched the videos, I, I don't know who, who is the hardest champion on the circuit tree, I, not, I don't care. For me the hardest is Brown because hitting Qs is hard for me, personally. <laughs> no, but I've made two satirical videos. One satirical video <laughs> was about um, winner's Q, and I was wondering, why isn't, why is everybody talking about loser's Q and not winner's Q? Like, wouldn't there be like a winner's Q and then you get funneled into loser's Q? It would have been like a funny concept, but nobody's talking about it. So I made that video and I was like, okay, that will bait a few people, but nobody got baited, sadly. <laughs> But then I made a, you know, a bait video about uh, toxic, toxic pussy. <laughs> it, it actually got a, a, got a lentil response by a player, which I feel bad because I was trolling in the, in my messaging, you know, not in the game, in the game I was actually trying my best. I really failed my, what do you call it, uh, misfortune ADC. We won the lane by the way, uh, like, I can replay the video. We, we won the lane but uh, I was just failing miserably in mid lane. I, I went mid lane trying to kill Yon and he just destroyed me. I was like, hey, he's just a stupid Yon player. <laughs> He just armed me and he destroyed me because he's better than me, you know. With your own, uh, I feel like every champion I have just dies with him. You know, my Shaco gets destroyed by your own, my Brown gets destroyed by your own, and my Fiddlesticks gets obliterated by your own. Your own is just overpowered against the champions that I play with, which is fine, you know. Aatrox top just ruins me. Aatrox against Fiddlesticks is just like water against fire you know i'm fire i can burn a lot of enemies but atrox comes and just splashes me with water and kills me it's quite uh, annoying same with riven riven counters fiddlesticks quite a lot but yeah what i was saying is that um, i really love playing this game 
and even if I'm like banned, which might happen, you know, if sometimes uh, people actually decide that, oh, he's 100% trolling this game, which I'm never actually 100% trolling. Sometimes I write, lol, I'm gonna troll, and then I go into a situation where I might die, and I actually die, which is funny sometimes. But really, I give at least 50%. And if I lose, I lose. I mean, it's a coin flip. I don't like uh, uh, googling videos on how to be the best player. I don't like getting coaches. Oh, uh, please tell me, Mr. Coach, how do I play brand support? Well, actually, brand is now a jungler, so you should basically play him as a jungler. Oh, thank you very much. Uh, okay, then, uh, I really like the support role, so how about we talk about my other two champions as uh, support? Well, what other champions do you play as support? Well, Fiddlesticks, um, Poppy, Shaco, those are all junglers. Maybe you should change your... <laughs> Come on, guys. Come on. Let's be serious. Nobody wants to be a jungle. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, thousand games, what I've really learned is that the game is really fun. If I ever get banned, you know, permanently in ranked, I'll be okay. I don't care. I'll play casual games if that's what it takes. I, I don't care. But as ranked, I really like that some people are really really want to win and I really love love when people just don't give a shit. That's when I like shine through, you know, when I have one AFK player and basically <laughs> I just go all out. I try everything to win. Guys, please go for Dragon. Guys, please Baron. No, no, no. I have it uh, Shaco boxed. Please come, come, come. That's my favorite thing when everybody gives up, but you're the one who is like trying really hard. And also, I like the opposite too. You know, when four players are trying really hard, and you're like, hm, I'm just gonna stay in their jungle and I'm gonna Shaco box it. Oops, I died. <laughs> it's funny, it's fun. But yeah, I really do recommend you play League of Legends. It's not that toxic of a game. Now, a lot of people like to tell you that League of Legends is toxic, but I feel like those players have never played like Counter-Strike. <laughs> because man, if you think this is toxic, I really recommend your Counter-Strike Global Offensive lobbies. If you have a time travel machine or it says two lobbies currently, if anybody still plays the game, I don't believe anybody plays it, but yeah. So this is a long video, I know. Um, probably a lot of people like think that um, it's a waste of time, but hey, this is just my uh, experience. This is my uh, opinion of the game, and I really love it. I really love what they do each season. Now, I haven't played it back in a day. I'm just... This is my first year with the game. Hopefully, it's not the last. And yeah, I'm having a lot of fun, and I hope everybody's having fun with it, too. So, yeah, if you see a video of mine, you know, that is kind of satirical, just check the description of the video. They usually, do you know, this is a semi-satirical video. It's because of this. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Uh, I'm very fat um, and balding and I'm almost 30 but sadly I'm not 30. Sorry to disappoint you. Bye bye. <laughs> oh my god.